Today, we're going to take a look at a wireless mechanical gaming keyboard. And we're going to take a look at it and see what you get when you get something like this. Now, I do own one already, and it's a small little keyboard that I like. I personally like a lot, but it's not wireless. It's Type-C. So the only problem is that the Type-C connection keeps getting in the way all the time. I have to take it across the room. I got to move around, and this is not long enough. Now, this is perfect. It's wireless. We're going to take a look at it and see what you get. Now. The actual keyboard itself, it, it, it has the same functions as the other one I currently have. And I'm going to show you guys the difference between these two, right? And this is a lot better because it's a lot slimmer. And not only that, it has a, a USB hidden right here in the back. And if you guys can see, 2.4 hertz off and then Bluetooth, of course. So you have two options here. Either use the USB Bluetooth device or you can just turn it off completely. I like the little kickstand, all right? That's something I, I was missing. It has uh, two rubber ends at the end, so it won't move, a, it's, it's not gonna adjust anywhere. It's just gonna stay fixed. Um, so we're gonna take a look at it and compare with my other keyboard. Now, one thing I have forgot to mention that they do give you a long cable. It's a type C to type A, so you can continue. It, it not only works with the actual cable and it will work automatically if the batteries ever run out, you could continue using with the cable itself, but it charges the unit itself too because the batteries are not necessary in this case. So let's take a look at the and compare with the other keyboard. All right, so this is my new keyboard I just received. It's wireless compared to my old one. This is my actual keyboard I use. It's a lot heavier, but it doesn't have too much. It's a little bulkier if you guys can see that. Um, the difference, I'm gonna close the legs in here. And you can see the actual keyboard, how thick it is compared to my current, current one, all right? This is the new one, which is wireless. This is the old one. Now, the bad thing about the old one that I used to have to connect it all the time here, uh, I actually broke the cable once, and then now I don't have a, the original cable. But on this one, I could use it uh, just to charge it out and then remove it anywhere I want. I could have it currently connected to my computer and then just kick it out whenever I don't need it. So this is perfect if you're gonna be gaming. And look at the size of it, all right? It's a lot. It's a little smaller. I will say maybe half an inch small compared to the other one, all right? A, a, a lot thinner. A lot thinner than the other one. Keyboard noise, about the same. So, so they work the same thing. So let's go ahead and compare them and do the keyboard test audio. This is the keyboard test on the new one. This is the old one. The old one's a lot louder. And they're both mechanical. It's just, this was more hollow. And this is more solid. This is the new one. Let's take a look at the actual keyboard in the dark, if you guys can see it. Now it has one mode right now, but you could change to multiple modes. Uh, it gives you, uh, it pretty much has all the keys and it tells you how to use the actual keys. You got your function key here, and then you got your actual light here. So you could hold function and then you could change it to turn off. And on and then different cycles you just hold the function and you hit this this button here so the keyboard is very simple i like that it turns on the light um you could turn off the light if you want just by hitting function and then the space bar it turns it off and it'll still be active all right the keyboard and if you guys can see right now we're on the actual bluetooth so there is a little light here that tells you that it's bluetooth but there is no symbol that it tells you that it's Bluetooth, but right now we're currently connected through our wireless device. We're not using the USB, but that's another option. You could carry this and take this keyboard anywhere without even worrying about leaving the actual USB at the office or anywhere else. You could use a Bluetooth or with the wireless or wire. Either way, you have three options. So function, key, and then space, it'll bring up the lighting. Now to see more uh, battery, of course, you know, people turn it off and on. Uh, depends on the usage, but if you're going to be gaming, you want to make sure it's on. If you're going to be streaming, you want to make sure you highlight your keyboards. This is perfect. So very simple, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video.